All right, Cup Fever is in town. We have Bristol Rovers on Sunday. Here's Marcus McGuain. Marcus, it's good to see you. How are you? How is the recovery going? Um, how has that journey been for you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Um, it's, been, uh, it's been a long time. Um, I'm feeling better every game with more minutes and stuff. Um, it's been, yeah, it's been a long, uh, a very long time and like recovery and stuff, but um, I feel very positive, I feel good in myself, so I'm just looking forward to the future. Come through two games, I think we spoke after the Spurs game, and yeah. you said you're absolutely buzzing to be back. Yeah, you're yeah, someone yeah. who just loves to play football. Yeah, you? exactly. Um, yeah, I love playing football, I love being out there. I love just showing like, what I can do on the pitch and stuff. So, um, yeah, like I'm just buzzing to be back. And yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to the future, looking forward to getting more minutes and looking forward to just playing back with the team and the lads. And those two games, Spurs uh, obviously got the win on that day, obviously we didn't get, go through in the end, yeah. but um, and then followed that up with some minutes against um, Morecambe, which was an excellent win, wasn't it? Yeah, um, yeah the Morecambe game was really positive. Um, I think we dug deep because the first half we didn't really, for the standards we set over the last couple of weeks and stuff, and like the last months, uh, we didn't really play great, but um, we really dug deep and then we found ourselves and we just said to ourselves, just carry on pushing, stick as a group, as a unit. And I think that shows probably the the big difference from last season. Maybe when we went 1-1, we sort of um, got angry with ourselves, but we kept our head. And uh, yeah, we pushed on and we got the result. There was a passage of play in that corner. I think it was you, Sykes, I think Matty Taylor might have been involved as well, just pinging the ball around, yeah. keeping the ball. You seem to have found your rhythm pretty quickly after your return. Uh, yeah, pretty quickly. Obviously, i still got a lot more to give and a lot more to do. Um, I'm working every hard, working every day, um, hard on the pitches with the coaches by myself. I'm um, doing extras just to get up to speed with the other boys. But um, yeah, like I said, um, just trying to build on, trying to get more minutes with the, the stuff and uh, yeah, help the team. Sunday we look ahead to the Emirates FA Cup. It's a competition that everyone loves. What are your kind of memories um, kind of associated with the competition? Um, well, obviously, like, just from my brothers and stuff like that, they've always told me that the FA Cup is the biggest competition. And, like, from his memories, he always said, like, they used to uh, go to watch, sit around the TV and, like, watch the games and stuff like that. So, um, for me, like, FA Cup is obviously... Um, a big trophy, obviously, like I support Arsenal and stuff, and um, they've won the FA Cup a few times, so yeah, like it's something that we want to do well as a team and see how far we can get, and obviously, um, yeah, just beat um, Bristol hopefully on the weekend and carry on pushing forward. Yeah, you mentioned Bristol Rovers, they played them in pre season, they're the yeah. new two outfit now, but they, they've shown, you know, they're not to be taken too, too lightly. Yeah, obviously, um, they was in the league last season, and yeah, they're a good team. Um, and like anyone really, like we just have to focus on ourselves, play our game and respect the opposition and we know if we do the right things we can definitely get a result. And what's next for you? Keep working hard, keep getting those minutes. Yeah, exactly. Keep working hard, keep getting those minutes and then just give the um the gaffer questions something to think about. Obviously the team's been doing well but at the same time, um just carry on performing well and hopefully just carry on fighting for for, for more minutes. That, that midfield that you're trying to get into, there's some talented yeah. players in there as well. You've got to, you know, really kind of push yourself and, yeah. uh, and, and sh show what you can do when you get those chances as well. Yeah, 100% the boys are uh, very talented in midfield. But um, all I can do is back myself and um, just try to get, like I said, try to give the gaffer a few questions and uh, yeah, just carry on to kick on. So a busy cup week, the first interaction with the under-18s in the FA Youth Cup. 4-0 win over Sutton Common Rovers. Scorer on his birthday was Adam Smith. In the end it was comfortable, the result was comfortable, but that could have been a banana skin, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah, they applied a lot of pressure, but we as a team, got through, showed our class, and showed why we were better than reflected on the so yeah, that was a good evening. Uh, the first thing we got into the habit of scoring early goals. Yeah. So have you now? Yeah, yeah, I was lucky. I got in between the uh, centre-back and the full-back. My chance, uh, lucky yeah, but I've seen teams do that before and then take the foot off the gas. You weren't going to do that. Yeah, I think we, we were all confident as a team after the first goal to just push on and show our class as we did. So. Um, what happens now? Just keep pushing and see who you get. This could be an almighty adventure, couldn't it? Yeah, it could be, it could be really good. But I think just focus on Saturday now, should make sure we're we really covered properly and then try and get the three points and then. Next round, hopefully you're going to get it. You're going to say it's your birthday today, happy birthday. Yeah. Thank you. That's the best way to celebrate, wouldn't it? Yeah.
And now for the bit everybody loves, a big punch up, here's Sam Winnell doing the name game. Uh, just got to check, how is your fitness? You've been ill, you've had a bad ankle, how are you getting on? Yeah, I've had some bad luck recently. Um, but I'm on the mend and working hard every day, so hopefully not long now. So, even when he's taking a break from working hard to do the main game. I'm going to show you 12 people, they're all called Sam or Winnell. As you've already identified, you're the most famous Winnell in the world. I think so. I think so as well. So, all you've got to do is tell me their full name. Okay. Are you ready? When you're yeah. ready, press that down button and I'll keep score. Sam Smith. One. Sam Long. Two. Jurassic Park guy. Yeah, that's him. Sam. He's not a winner. No, he's not a winner. His name's Sam as well. Yes, it is. You'll get the hang of this game now. Yeah, you know, it's pretty straightforward, Chris. <laughs> um, Sam, Sam. Sam. Oh, is he going to pass? Really wanted to swear that. Yeah, don't. I think you probably did. Uh, maybe. Sam. Pass? Pass. Neil. I'll come back to it. Sam Neil. Oh, right, I won't come back to no, it. Come Sam back to Sam Quick. Good, yeah, three. Fireman Sam. Good, four. Oh. He played oh. Yeah. Is he, he's Sam Smith. He's right. Sam Smith as well, five, that's good. Now we're going to have to test your cricket. Oh. This is gonna, your game is going to fall. Well, it's this. not Will. Um, don't know, pass. Sam Billings. Now you're going to struggle as well, another cricketing Sam. Yeah, he's the bowler, he's the fast yeah. bowler. His brother plays as well. Yeah. His brother's called Tom. I don't know. Sam Curran. Curran. Sam five. Oh. Samuel L. Jackson. Six. Indie musician. Very popular at the minute. No clue. Sam Fender. No clue. Sam Ricketts. Seven. Sam Carruthers. Good. Eight. Sam Halladon. Nine. Puts you in second place behind Simon Eastwood. Nice, I'll take that. A little bit more cricket knowledge. Yeah. Could be your nine, champion. Nine out of twelve. Nine out of twelve. Not bad. Nine time. And now the bit where Martin tells you all about the match day programme. And because nobody listens, I'm going to set you a quiz question while Martin waffles on. There are eight teams currently playing in League One who have won the FA Cup. Shout at your screens now, Martin. What's in the programme? Okay, in the programme. Uh, yes, good one. In the programme now, uh, there is um, an interview with Mark Sykes. Very good one. He talks a lot. Uh, he talks too much, so much actually. There's only probably really half of what he said in the actual interview. But it's you need to leave the good bits in and take out the bad. That's editing advice for you there. Yeah, it is good advice. I'll try to bear that in mind in the mm. future if I ever get to do another program. Good. I'm not sure you will, on account of you've put the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in the program in the program. Yeah, uh, there's a double quiz page, including for adults and on Ollie's page. Uh, a nice little cryptic crisscross. It's crisscross. not a nice little crossword, it's impossible. But I, I got it. You wrote the damn thing. Yeah. Mr. Neil McWilliams is a clever man. Not so Johnny Edmonds. The three of us scratched our heads. Liam Potter was in the room. None of us could get any of the clues. How am I supposed to proofread things if I can't do the answers? Um, it doesn't seem to stop my no. proofreading skills elsewhere, does it? No, well, skills is a bit. Yeah, well, there's also um, a poster of Billy Bowden. Yeah. Um, and there's. Um, Why? Go on, explain that bit. Well, because he used to play for Bristol Rovers, so I thought, what better way to celebrate the man than. I'd imagine they'll be rushing to buy it. Well, I should think so. Oh, he finds very popular. Like, there's also a picture of Matty uh, Taylor in there as did well. He play for Bristol Rovers. You might have not realised this, but yes, he did. Did he? He did indeed, yeah. He apparently, um, he's not very fond of them, apparently. No, I think he's fond of them. They're less fond of him. Oh, he true. loves everybody. Yeah, he does. He's a lovely bloke. He is a very lovely bloke. Have you got those eight clubs yet? I'm not going to tell you the answer, you just have to work it out, but there's eight and there's controversy about one. Yeah. Controversy? I'm not sure I said that word right. Anyway, there's an argument about one. Explain why it counts. Well, then I'll have to give away the answer. Well, tell them the answer. Okay, the answer's AFC Wimbledon, or Wimbledon really, who won the FA Cup back in whenever it was. Um, and when they became MK Dons, they ceded all their old Wimbledon honours to, back to AFC Wimbledon, so that now AFC Wimbledon are the official cup winners, even though they had not actually win the cup themselves. Even though they weren't a club? No, even though they didn't exist. Oh. Yeah. We've overcomplicated this whole thing. Yeah. So if you get his crypt crypt cryptic crossword, <laughs> I'll leave that bit in. Yeah. Uh, if you manage to complete that, send us a copy and he'll sign it for you uh, and send it back with a suitable prize. Um, we found a job lot of Santa hats in yeah. the desk today, so you Just might get a Santa yeah, yeah, very handy. They are a bit, they're a bit red. I don't know why there's about 50 Santa hats there, but 
Oh. We must have had something planned. Anyway, you win a Santa hat and Martin's autograph or something. Okay. Uh, you're better. It's an exclusive oh, prize. Just a preview show. Right, I'm going to let you talk your part up here. Oh. You're doing a lecture to some poor, unfortunate people. Who are you talking to? Well, it's, it's to anyone who wants to go to. It's uh, at the um, Museum of Oxford. Uh, it's on Thursday, two weeks today. Thursday, November the. Oh, I don't know if it's going out, but Thursday, November the 18th, I think. Mm. Uh, five quid to get in. I don't know why they're charging. People are going to pay money to. <laughs> I don't get any of it, sadly. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I think all the money goes into the museum funds because they are a bit sort of uh, short of funds. So yeah, it's talking about the history of Oxford United as from 1893 to 2021. If you get in a museum, mate, I doubt you're getting back out. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. So there you go, we've got loads of quiz questions and stuff. There's one other game I have to tell you about, which is the women are playing against Bridgewater. Uh, they're playing at two o'clock kickoff on Sunday down at Court Place Farm. Um, obviously, we're kicking off one o'clock on Sunday. You can make it for the last ten minutes. Well, I'll the last ten minutes if you feel the urge. Um, I'll have a word with Liam Gilbert, see if we can arrange extra time in their game. Then oh, we could. Yeah, I don't think they do that in the first game. Yeah, right? no, we can yeah. arrange it. We do what, we're also sure if we do what we want. Good point. Good. Um, it's cut price, cut price, ticket prices. Yeah. For uh, for the game on Sunday as well, as a, a fiver off most adult prices. Um, tickets available all the way through to Sunday. We'll see you there.